and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Heimer Invoke. Gonna bring back one of our favorite decks to play, especially with Heimerdinger. Heimerdinger hasn't changed recently, but Flash of Brilliance, of course, being changed back to the three mana really makes Heimerdinger much more playable. And so we're gonna be playing it with uh, Targon with all of the Celestial cards because we can have cards like Star Shaping um, that give us a spell for Heimerdinger, but then also heal our, our Nexus to keep us from dying and give us some more even powerful Celestial cards that we can play. We also have like Solari Priestess uh, that can get there as well. And then of course, we have one Aurelian Soul at the top end. I wanna have a couple of Vi's in here though because Vi's do a really good job of controlling the board for us and helping us get to the late game, help us remove champions and, and what we need and, and help us get to that um, Aurelian Soul. Changed up two cards since we've been playing it before, taking out the Thermogenic Beams because those have been awkward quite often of needing to spend all of your mana. And in a Heimerdinger deck, you kind of always want to keep mana available. So you don't want a card that just requires you to spend all of your mana. So instead of playing those two Thermogenic Beams, we're gonna be playing an extra Sunburst um, to be able to take down Trundles and uh, They Who Endures and stuff like that. And we're gonna try one Tribe Beam and Probulator in here also. We have a good amount of three mana spells. We have uh, 10 three mana spells for Tribe Beam and Probulator. And then and a, a card like Hush can be multiple three mana spells at times as well. So let's, let's give this a try. Uh, we got a couple of early blockers with our two Solari cards. That's what they're gonna be doing, early blockers. Um, love having Priestess in this deck on turn three to help get those up more Celestial cards and be a blocker. Um, then we have a lot of protection for Heimerdinger with the Sunblessed Vigor being a nice protection spell at only two mana. Um, but then of course also Bastion and Pale Cascade and even Guiding Touch to be able to heal it too also. So we have a lot of protection there for Heimerdinger. So let's draw some Heimerdingers. That would be the best thing for us. We're going to play our five games in ranked and we're going to see how we do. All right, looks like we got Fiora Shen. So Fiora Shen is gonna be challenging, which that's gonna make it uh, more difficult to keep Heimerdinger alive. It'll be more of a challenge, if you will. Do you like Sunburst that only gets stopped by Deny and nothing else? That's a good draw. Get to play that for two mana here, so we can double spell with the shield bearer and the gotcha. By my honor, you must die. Unyielding life. I will trespass here. Which I could have done before with the gotcha, but now we only have to spend two mana instead of all four. Probably playing some burst on a Shen here. Okay, no Shen. We swim within the flows of magic. Uh, this is kind of a difficult decision. So I'm thinking about doing Heimerdinger, and then if they challenge and buff up their tracker, then I go hush. I think I'm gonna do Heimerdinger and just start getting. So that whenever I, you know, I want to gonna want to play spells and interact and so while I'm playing spells and interacting I continually get units Let's go back to their turn. Intruders. I will 
block. Inserted strike. Well, Mystic Shot first. Ex expecting a barrier. And then we go gotcha. So we'll get the 4-1, and yeah, that's game. All right, got our first game with Heimer and Vogue. Truly remarkable. That hush was really good. But of course, it was Heimerdinger. Everything really worked out for us that game. You know, like the two mana 3-6? So that worked out really well, waiting for on that thing. Our gotchas were good. You think they should just remove Hush from the game? Now, patch notes should be out in about an hour. Alright, Swain Twisted Fate. Um, we can keep these Flash of Brilliance because once we draw our Heimerdinger, like the Flash of Brilliance plus Heimerdinger combo is so great. And since we're definitely drawing Heimerdinger, right deck? We're definitely drawing Heimerdinger. I like playing the Solari cards on defense and really as 3 threes. But, okay, actually, I guess I'm just going to play it now. Stop the 1 1. Because I want to play Solari Priestess next turn. Um, and then we're going to want to have our extra man and everything. So I guess I'm just going to play this now. Yeah, so a little bit of, of awkward timing there, but just kind of how it goes. More house spiders. Ooh. I guess we go written in stars, yeah. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. So 50-50 chance whether or not that draws Heimerdinger for us. Hopefully it does. Um, no mercy for heretics. I guess I'll block the 2-2. Two, two. Because basically, I don't know, I block the 1-1 one, one and then make it rain, kills everything. They can make it rain and kill my 1-1 one, one if they want, but then if not, then my 1-1 one, one will trade with their 1-1. One, one. Heimer. Rats. Spiders. <laughs> Oh, that would have been great to be Heimerdinger, though, because if this was Heimerdinger next turn, we'd have 3-5 Heimerdinger. Uh, you know, we'd have 3-5 Heimerdinger, and we would have had the mana for two Flash of Brilliance also, so we would have been able to go 3-5 Heimerdinger, Flash, Flash, and, you know, that would have been awesome. Now I kind of have nothing. I guess we're just going to start shaping this turn. I think that's better than saving three mana. Like, those are our options. Either just not play anything and save three mana or play star shaping. Good hand for them there with the champions. I don't, I don't know. I mean... This is the best card. We're not, we don't behold a celestial card for now. I'm just gonna take it. I'm not like looking at like how my turns are gonna be playing out. I'm not really planning on playing those other two cards for a very long time anyway. Really could have used Time Redinger with that written in stars. That was a huge tempo loss with us wasting turn four to to just play written in stars, which does nothing. Not having the Heimer, so now turn five we had nothing. I also. Um, that's probably just gonna cost us this game. It's like, we went turn four and turn five of doing nothing. I guess technically turn four I cast a, a Mystic Shot to kill it. Twisted Fate. Oh, 
we could clear clear up the board, I guess. <laughs> no, it just, it's definitely not worth cutting all other champions. It's not... It's not something that's going to happen that often. Of, I'm I'm not designing this deck to be able to use written in stars to find Heimerdinger, and that's it. And and it's just how this specific hand worked out. Um, honestly, so I don't think it's worth just cutting all all other champions. It was just. There's a one out of six chance we drew a card that we really couldn't use, and we did. Five out of the six would have been really good, though. So, Karma Ezreal, we need to... Um, do I want to hush against Karma Ezreal? I guess not till, not till like, super late. Bastion can be really good. We'll keep the Bastion. We're going to need to find ways to to make sure we don't die to their combo and, and be able to remove their champions later on in the game. I'm expecting a Mystic Shot on this 2-2. And so I would be able to have a good quality pill cascade. Hello. 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 There we go. Drew the Heimer. You never ask. Unyielding light. One shot, all skill. Hey Annie. Maybe they'll pass? It's not bragging if you could back it up. Darn. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. And yeah, we'll use Pill Cascade to keep our 2-2 alive. We would waste that mana anyway. Or the 3-2, I guess. Cool. Let's we'll take that gotcha. We'll just play that right now. Does mean I'm not playing Heimerdinger next turn, but I think that's okay. I think that's a good time to cast that gotcha at only two mana. I'm happy with that. Follow the horizon. You're strange. All right, so one of their six champions down. They only got five left. Good draw with Solari Priestess. Be able to save our spell mana, or save our mana, sorry, uh, for the next turn also. Sunlight guided, my brother. Perfect. Ooh, even better. Perfect, so we're going to have two three ones to go along with Heimerdinger. And they're just passing with all that mana? Cool. Well, now we can have even more. Because yes, yes, now, at the very worst, we can have a, a five one also. So 10 mana, I I can play Gotcha and Star Shaping and Bastion. I could gotcha my own turret there. Honestly, I guess I probably should have just gotcha my own turret. Because basically the, the good part about gotcha in the turret is that it keeps Ezreal at two instead of three. And like I'm I'm using my gotcha either way. Um the reason to do it on the turret is because I would probably be replacing that turret anyway. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe that's just silly. A sturdy construction. Yeah. 
I, I do behold another card. Let's take this cosmic inspiration. That thing will be awesome with all these Heimer turrets and everything. Give them all plus two, plus two. Thank you. We'll take that. All I gotta do is play one more turret and Heimer levels up. Like one, one turret from a Bastion. Where there is life, there is hope. Devotion through battle. Act with conviction. Hi, puppy. Yeah. Oh. So we're leading with the Cosmic Inspiration. So we'll, we'll be able to play Cosmic Inspiration and Falling Comet and Bastion this turn if they don't counter anything. If they don't deny the Inspiration. Oh, go grow, puppy. Ugh. Don't blink or you'll miss me. Hopefully no deny. Well, that's too bad. Witness glory. Yeah, I think just attacking is my best plan. I could go with like the falling combat first, but. They're gonna have to like spend their mana to keep alive here, so I want them to spend their mana to do that, and then I fall you know, then I have these other things afterwards. Yeah, Karma is definitely gonna be the card that we're going to try to obliterate. You're between me and glory. Peace has its cost. Okay, well they're they're just down to one mana. All right, GG's. Because not only was I going to be able to spell shield that, but I was also going to be able to turn like another unblocked unit with the hex Hex Transmogulator into a five-one. Uh, you know, we just just haven't needed it yet. So what's no champions with Freljord and PNZ? Is this going to be like an a Poro deck or an Elnuk deck? Or a Poro El deck. That's just kind of mulligan. I think with this deck, mulliganing a lot of cards is usually pretty good. I think I, I probably in general just don't mulligan enough. Oh, it looks like a Poro El deck. Because finding Heimerdinger is so important, and the deck gets so much better when you do have Heimerdinger, as we have seen. And so that mulliganing and looking for Heimerdinger is advisable. This trade may not be advisable because that was that 2-1 was actually a unit that Solari Priestess could trade with. Potentially, so maybe I shouldn't be attacking there. That could end up costing me. Sunlight guiding, my brethren. We could take the Meteor Shower, but I don't know. I feel like Golden Sister is really impactful, but the one problem with Golden Sister is it does cost six mana. Like this? Oh, and uh, we already have like turn five, kind of like turn five and turn six covered with like Vi and Heimerdinger if we wanted to play those. Well, that's all right. Could 
also just pass turn with them wasting the six mana. Well, really just wasting three mana. Yeah, I feel like I should just pass turn. We want to play Hush on both of those Daring Poros and turn them into just regular old 1-1s. I was going to say the answer is no until they just play double Poro Snacks. Deck getting hushed. Plus three, plus three. Shared spoils also. The pie is at eight. Clad in shining sunlight. We go nine. We'll play Heimer for ten. Order, entropy, a never ending cycle. So do I want to take out the 6-6, six, six, Elusive, or level up Vi? Still Sunburst, that 6-6 six, six, Elusive. Being this. Let's level up Vi. Okay. Never mind. So Sunburst just works so well with Heimerdinger. I'm really glad we had a second Sunburst in here. Because not only is it a great removal spell, but then also... Um, it is It does get you a 6-1 Elusive whenever you play it. You are beneath me. Patch notes will be up on their website right here, playroomterra.com. So, Mr. Shot does kill this Jubilant Poro before this other Poro snacks, but it, it's not a good use of my mana. I'm just gonna play my bike because that's a lot better use of my mana. And it's cooler. Same with Aurelian Soul. All right, we got Vi to level up. Oh, yeah! All I need to do is play six more mana of spells and get another turret to level up Heimerk. So now we're going to have Vi leveled up. So one of the three is leveled. A real, if they pass, we'll have Aurelian Soul leveled up. Working towards leveling up all three. No, no Zenith Blade in here. Another leveled up champion. <laughs> Two supernovas. I do love an audience. The problem is these supernovas do cost zero. So that means we make the zero mana turret with Hybridinger. Not like a cool you know, nine mana turret. Alright, so to level up Heimer, I need to cast just one more power. No, no, no. 
the turret. Alright, we got all three champions leveled up in play. That's not something I see all the time. I just play one, I'm just playing one uh, Aurelian Soul over the third Vi. At least we leveled up all three of our champions first. And that's a knockout. Eason Trundle. So do I just mulligan everything? I guess so. I mean, I like Bastion. I like a lot of those cards, but I think I'm supposed to just mulligan and look for Heimerdinger. Because our, you know, nothing wrong with those cards, but I mean, that's, we have 40 cards, they're all pretty good, <laughs> nothing wrong with any of our cards, so we don't need to just settle and keep cards that aren't bad whenever that's our deck, we're just playing cards that aren't bad. Get him, Solari Soldier. It's cost me three mana to play this right now. It's one of these last two. Obviously, we're not taking Cosmic Rays. Um... Try the Destroyer. Could be a mistake. Usually I just always take the Obliterate cards with this deck. We're not... We don't have another um, Invoke card right now. Devotion to battle. So we knew they just drew a champion. I'm kind of hoping it... No, I, was, I was hoping it was Trundle, but it was Lee Sin. So if I didn't play that other card, I could have had Sunburst this turn. We see through all. Deny is the only card that stops that. I will not hold back. This will be a good winter. Conflict is all in the mind. Don't think any of that stops it, right? Yeah. Just played two spells, kind of for no reason. That's why Sunburst is awesome. Imminently logical. Please no more Lee Sins, just have like Trundle or something else. Ah, an auspicious season. Let's get some turret. <laughs> the skies descend. And fire! And fire. Just attack here. You cannot escape. So probably gonna cast the gotcha. This will be a good winter. No, looks like we'll just pass. Save my mana for next turn. Alright, so good thing we have the Hush and, and we have lots of mana. We're gonna need to cast it a couple of times, probably. cast the gotcha here to just kill that and if they try protecting it then I recast hush by snow and stars. I'm 
Which, now if they got another pump spell... Awesome. That's gonna be a leveled up Heimerdinger. Awesome. <laughs> now that, yeah, probably tomorrow that Fleeting Hush is not gonna cost three anymore. Probably, probably uh, tomorrow. Nope, I mean, patch 1 1 will be announced in about 30 minutes. I think, like, at the top of the hour is whenever it will be announced. And then... Uh, these are all great options. I'll take the Written in Stars, because Written in Stars comes along with a 4-1. Or a 5-2, I guess. Or a 4-2. They get, they get plus one, plus one, right? So five, two. We still have all these cards in hand. Still have two more cards in hand than they do. Ah, an auspicious season. <laughs> You're not attacking Heimer. You got a problem? Come on back. They look angry. Fly away You're not attacking. You All right, so big Vi. Six health with tough. I could have opened attacked. Alright, so how do we want to deal with Trundle? Uh, unfortunately, with that 7 health now, Sunburst will, will not kill it anymore. So we, we can have Sunburst kill the Shadow Assassin. Because uh, we can silence that, but that's going to have to be next turn. Not this turn. I will play my part. So we'll be using the Guiding Touch. Get ready for a beatdown. Well, that's annoying. Um, so yeah, just the, so the ice pillars, there's all, they're only a plus cost card. Um, so basically, do I want to just sunburst and kill this trundle right now? No, let's go. Let's go this. Let's draw a card. See what we get. Okay, that'll kill the trundle. Good. I'm gonna just cast that right now before the Heimerdinger goes away. Never mind. Not killing the jungle. Unforeseen outcome. Sunburst this. Alright, Smartin. Take care. Have a good one. I stream every day at this time except for Wednesdays. Wednesdays I stream later because of the patch updates being implemented. The enemies of day will fall. 
right, so what kind of attacks do we want to make? Right now they have three blockers, I have six attackers, so even if they block the three biggest, they're t still taking nine. So, like, right now we just have, have lethal in that respect. And, you know, I might as well just have this thing block something instead of letting them choose. I can try to either kill Trundle or Shadow Assassin with the Vi. We'll just go with the Trundle. With the regen, that card's probably scarier. And then, you know, like, this doesn't have the regen. If it blocks any of these, it will be easier to kill a True Shot Barrage in a future turn. All right, we'll take the win. That's going to be a nice four and one. We will take that. And that's a knockout. Heimer Invoke was awesome. Adding more, adding a second Sunburst to the deck was really good. The Sunburst looked really strong. And I like that six mana cost card with Heimerdinger. Uh, making the 6-1 turret. I wanted to try out a Tri-Beam Improbulator, but I think I would just probably just remove that and honestly just play a third Sunburst. Sunburst looked great and looked like a card that I wanted all the time. So I think that's what I would do going forward. Just get three of these in. Um, six cost is amazing, getting a 6-1 Elusive. And also it's just, just um, a really good quality card with having that Silence first. Um, so yeah, let's let's... I would change that uh, moving forward. Um, I wouldn't change anything with the champions. I know that did cost us the that game that we lost by having the Written and Stars draw the Aurelian Soul, where if we would have drawn Heimer, we definitely would have won. And if we would have drawn Vi, we would have been in a good spot. And de by definitely, I mean definitely not definitely that we would have won. <laughs> I should probably stop using that word in the same sentence. But um, we would have been in a really, really good spot if we would have drawn Heimerdinger. I would have been surprised if we would have lost. Uh, but yeah, besides that, everything else was good. Really love Solari Priestess with this deck. Um, I don't know if, like, we need any more Invoke, like Lunari Priestess, if that would work out here. But it's kind of, it's more difficult to turn on Nightfall for sure, uh, especially on, like, turn three. That's what, one thing that makes the Solari Priestess so good. But that's, that's everything that we got here. That's Heimer Invoke. So if you want to play Heimerdinger... And you saw it throughout those games, the Heimerdinger is really, really powerful. Definitely give this deck a shot. I really like how this deck is um, is built, and I really like how it's uh, how it's really coming along. I think the Sunburst, just adding in more Sunburst is a, a good change. Basically taking out Thermogenic Beam and putting in Sunburst, I think that has helped our deck for sure. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and feel free to leave any comments if you are trying the deck, if you've been playing it. Let me know how, how has it been going for you or anything else if you've been playing Heimerdinger in a different deck. I'd like to hear that as well. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.